I've mocked up a website for you that you could use for the science projects when the, when you take the content course, or you could modify it for yourself. This time I used a horizontal navigation schema, and I put in pages just as placeholders. You can change all of this, the titles, the colors, and everything. Look at the website that I created. A few points I'd like to show you, though much of this is empty, but something such as the resources page could be used to add files that you want the students or the teachers to have. Um, also, I put in um, a place where you could have them upload a report, and it's a little below here, but you can have them add files and make comments. But let me bring this back down. What you might also want to do, though, is create an input data form. And in this case, I simply made a Google form and linked it in, and I'll scroll this so you can see what's in here. This Google form is quite easy. It had a nice colorful background, and I simply used it to have students bring in data from a field survey. You could make any kind of study that you wanted. So by using this preset Google site, you may find that it's an easier way to get started. You can easily make your own, and as you remember from the webinar, all of these things can be changed. Generally, too, it's good to have an About Us page, and during the content course, you're going to be collaborating, so you'd want to indicate the different people that were here. But this might be a startup website that could serve your purposes, um, just to get going and to modify.